Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, <laughs> and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box, Leo, if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community, and know that you will always see my face on video if you order a reading from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. All right, Leo, don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell. You have the, <laughs> the L expansion, the, the shedding snake, the magician, the alchemical master, the ace of pentacles, and the two of swords, the blind seal. So you're coming up to some sort of decision, Leo. All right. This could be between two people. This could be between two opportunities for work or something. But there is a decision that is coming up. So let's see. But you're manifesting something pretty big. The Page of Cups. Wow. So we have the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, Hardship Mountain, the Justice, the Dives of Equality, and the Ten of Pentacles, the Oyster of Metatron. Wow. So you're shedding different aspects of yourself. And with this shedding different aspects of yourself, Leo, you are able to manifest whatever this is that's coming to you this is going to give you a lot of abundance here but i feel like you're also you're committed to shedding these aspects of yourself in order to obtain balance so feelings of lack that you may have felt i feel like you're shedding i also feel like you're opening your heart you're healing your heart and it's like you're connecting the dots here you understand you understand you're beginning to understand the shadow aspects of yourself and therefore you're expanding yeah house so it's like this is building the foundation for your life moving forward all right so tell me about the magician this is gemini energy leo the six of swords here some of you could be moving the fool the eternal vagabond and judgment wow yeah see this is coming back to the source of the self that's what they just said the source of the self so transcendence you're rising above you're moving on and you're finding peace within you also could be moving and taking a leap of faith on something in a love situation i'm feeling family room yeah some of you are beginning to build a family especially with house there it's like this clean slate of the self and because of that you're manifesting everything's coming in like all of your manifestations that you put out there, whether that be love, work, it's all being revealed to you after the shedding of the self, the, the getting to the um, source of you. Okay, because you're trusting in the universe. It's like you let go. You let go of a lot. It's that trusting here that brings you peace, that brings you stability that brings you this knowing they just said this knowing that everything's going to be okay 
no matter what it is that you're experiencing in the moment. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So there is a decision you're going to make, the High Priestess, the King of Cups, the Chief Eagle here. So this could be in love. You may have a choice between two here. Okay, so one of them may be kept secret with the High Priestess, or one of them could be very intuitive, or both of them could be actually. Uh -huh. Oh, so let's see. I'm torn between two lovers here. Huh, Leo? Toil and labor. You can't avoid this by working. Imprisonment. Yeah, see? I feel like you're turning to work <laughs> to not make this decision. You can't do this. Expectation. You're trying to figure out what is everybody expecting of me? It, what do you expect of yourself? Don't worry about everybody else. Mature woman. I feel like you're trying to rise up to be the, the ultimate aspect of you. Right? And you're trying to rise up, right? Especially with this judgment card here in order to see things clear from a clearer perspective and make this decision. But I, I do feel you realize that by working, you're not going to be, you know, it just puts off the inevitable, Leo. It's just putting off the inevitable. You can't work forever. You have to stop sometime. Tell me about the Two of Swords. What is it that you're not seeing here? The Sacred Heart, the Heart and Soul of Goliath, the Tower, the Burning Tree. Hmm. There's something going on. The Six of Pentacles, the Reuniting Water Lily. I feel like what you're not seeing here, but that you will see, is somebody here is a, a soulmate. Why are you not seeing this? Like, I feel like a soulmate from a past life. Why is Leo not seeing this? See, the moon. The shadow reflection. Okay, they're saying that it's hidden from you for a reason. This may be a twin. And I feel like that's the reason. It's like you, this is something you got to experience. You've got to come to this, the, they're saying receptivity. So there's some sort of receptivity that you've got to, you've got to tune into this. And you're already rising right with the judgment card so it's keep going keep going don't stop don't imprison yourself and this is why they're not revealing it to you because there's something it's like this threshold you need to pass leo you need to pass this this threshold of vibration you need to keep rising. And even if you feel stuck, even if you don't know what to do, you don't know who to choose, you need to keep going and raising your vibration because you will see this. You will see this person. You will discover uh, this, this like deeper connection that you didn't feel or see before. Okay, but you will. You will. And like a magnet, you're going to be drawn right to them. And you're you're just going to do what needs to be done. Unexpected income. This, this brings you a lot of abundance once you raise your vibration here. See? High honor. Once you raise your vibration, okay, unexpectedly, it's like everything's going to begin to happen around you in a very abundant way. Love, money, happiness, like everything. Fulfillment, which is pretty awesome, Leo. Your advice, synchronicity. 
Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. All right. So pay attention to these signs, Leo. They are very important. Keep raising your vibration. Don't stop because there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow and it's pretty sweet. So you have a good one, Leo. If you're interested in a reading, link is in the description box below. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, click on that link. There are many tarot card impersonators running about. I want to make sure you guys are getting to the right place. Know that you'll see my face in a tarot reading if you order one from me. And also know that you will get an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. You have a good one, Leo, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.